Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, we will learn how we can install Kafka in Windows 10. And also, we will also learn how we can use producer and consumer to send and receive the uh, messages. Alright, so first thing, we will go to this URL and download uh, this version 2.8.0. I mean, uh, which is nothing but like they are releasing with the two Scala version like 2.12 and 13 and they are saying like use 2.13 uh, which is recommended one alright so once you download this one then uh, make sure you unzip in C drive as I have already unzipped over here you can see over in C drive why because like uh, sometimes you will get an error like okay path is big that is basically with respect to Windows machine so make sure you unzipped in uh, C drive once you unzip you will see a folder with uh, like this lot of folders like this open this config folder and you will see a lot of configuration over there in that you need to you know just open this uh, zoo, zookeeper dot properties and this uh, server dot properties all right so what you need to do first we'll uh, uh, check everything is okay or not in this uh, zookeeper properties you need to you know set this path by default it will be like tmp slash with respect to the linux machine or something but since we are in windows then we have to give a, a windows uh, kind of path so you can say see kafka and zookeeper snapshot where it will keep all the snapshots with respect to the uh, all the metadata what we will be doing like we will be creating consumer producer those kind of information it will keep over here in this particular folder and the rest of things we will not change it because we will be running the same uh, zookeeper in the port number is 2181 by default whatever it is the port all right next is like server dot properties in that also uh, we need to change the log path which is nothing but here you can simply say uh, c drive which is your like a base directory and then you can say okay create an uh, kafka hyphen log folder all right so only these two rest of the things we are not changing at least for now let me close these two files and what we'll do we'll open a command prompt at this location so let me copy this path all right we are into this one yeah all right and then we need to execute uh, uh, some commands to start this zookeeper so we will be saying this is the command for that we'll be saying the, like we'll go to this uh, bin uh, where uh, then windows folder i'll show you one thing over here if you are doing all the steps in a linux machine then you have to deal with this dot uh, sh file otherwise you just focus on this windows folder and there will be having all the batch scripts all right so and then you just give the configuration which just i showed you just now the two keeper properties which is nothing but this one where you have set this uh, snapshot path and just say enter okay so now your zookeeper is uh, up and running on the port number 2181 i think that is the port number we have 2181 exactly yeah so it's up and running over here let me open one more uh, window again i'll go to the same path yep okay this time i will execute uh, the kafka one Kafka command so that it will be it will also get a start so similarly we go to windows folder and then you select the card for server start dot batch file and then give that server dot properties which is with respect to the Kafka server all right okay so now your zookeeper and the Kafka is up and running yeah you can see it's up and running now let me minimize this guy also and now the thing is the thing is we will be creating a topic and the um, what do you call that uh, producer and as uh, consumer window so what we'll do from the producer will be send message and consumer should receive that message all right so before doing that what we'll do we'll create topics topics is nothing but like on that you will be sending messages and then consumer will be subscribing to the topic and it will be getting there uh, it will get a start you know pulling all the records from the uh, and this uh, kafka topic Alright, so let uh, what I'll do. I'll just create one more window over here. So my uh, the topic name is test topic one two three four five six, and for this we need to go to Windows Kafka hyphen topics dot batch file. And the command is very simple. You simply say hyphen even create zookeeper whatever is the location. Replication factor means like it will create only one and partition is also one since we have installed only one node so that's why it's the one 
and the replication also it can do only one okay and the topic name is uh, test topic one two three four five six so looks like the topic got created now and if you want to you know list all the topics whatever you want to do like so for example let's say whatever topics you have created then you simply say list same batch file and simply say hyphen hyphen list instead of saying hyphen hyphen create so you can see the topic it's showing only like right now test dot sorry test topic one two three four five six all right now let me create one more window that i will make it as a producer okay so what i'll do so for sending messages what we will do we will be making use of the uh, producer batch file which is nothing but like windows uh, inside windows you will be having something like kafka hyphen console hyphen producer dot batch file in that you just give the uh, like uh, like the uh, port number and host number where you have installed your kafka and give like hyphen hyphen topic out of this topic you want to i mean on which topic you want to send the messages so send that i am so, so now executed now the command prompt is waiting for the messages i'll what i'll do i'll just open one more window here and this is like producer one now i'll open one consumer okay for that we need to execute the consumer command which is nothing but this one so there are two things i will tell you in just a bit one second okay so now my producer and the consumer which is nothing but the oh, one second this is the producer one let me okay so left side is the producer right side is the consumer so if i say hi the consumer should start receiving that messages yeah you can see it started receiving okay now i didn't enter live looks like last time that's why so i'll say one two three you can see the message is coming if i say let's say um it will be in the same sequence let's say if i say four five six seven eight nine you can see the right side messages are coming all right now there is one more command which i'll show you um, but before that let me create one more consumer so what i'll do i'll be receiving the messages from two consumer now so here also i will subscribe to the same topic I think something messed up. Let me clean this. Okay. So this time what I'll do, I'll I'll use the other command which I showed in the beginning, like it's hyphen hyphen beginning. So what it will do, no matter what, it will start from the beginning. So you you know like we have executed like now one, two, three, four, four messages, right? Now what I'll do, the whenever the new consumer is started, I want to receive all the messages from the beginning see it got this for all the messages if i don't type this hyphen from the beginning it won't get it so let me show you that also let i stopped it clean it now let me remove this one you can see now the consumer is just waiting for the new message so if i type here let's say okay so both the consumer is gonna receive the messages See, it, it got uh, this consumer also got it and this one also got it now let me stop this one again i'll say no i want to receive from the beginning so i will use that command so it will receive that so old plus the new one if i say now again test see both got it. all right so this time i'm running this is like a producer consumer let me minimize these windows which we will be using in one more example let me and this is just a topic creation which I did. So this is my uh, 
Kafka and the first one is my uh, Zookeeper. Okay, so what I'll do is so right now my uh, Zookeeper and the Kafka is running in a Windows, uh, like uh, in the PowerShell window. All right, so if I close these, those uh, services will be stopped automatically and then Proviso Console will not work. So in normal scenario, what we'll do, we have to host these uh, uh, these two services so using some mechanisms. So what I will do, we'll use an, uh, an S. SM uh, that is non sucking service manager tool we will be using what we'll do so we'll use these uh, we'll use that uh, an SSM tool to host these services as a window service that is nothing but zookeeper and the uh, Kafka so let me close this and I'll create a new window over here so if, we, if you want to install so you have to open this PowerShell in uh, admin mode okay and then sorry all right now i you can download one now um, one second i have already downloaded Since I have already downloaded this uh, NSSM EXE, you can also download from this website, which I will show you uh, here. I have given the link over here. So from here, you can download this uh, uh, NSSM EXE and which will help you to host this uh, Zookeeper and the Kafka in, as a Windows service. All right, I'll show you how to install that also. So you can see uh, the exe over here. All right. Now what we need to do, we need to say um, wherever we are having this batch file. So whatever commands we are running, like these commands, right? These command, we have to pass the same as it is. Just before that, we need to say an sm exe space give the service name and then say install and give the same path that's it so I, all those copy I, I will share this file like all the like which is having all the commands so that it will be easy for you and before doing that i'll just show you this command which will tell you what all services are already installed using this tool so if you execute this one right now it's saying it, there is no services installed using the nsm because we are putting a filter like nssm all right so if i remove this filter you will get to know like okay, it will list all the windows uh, services So you can see these many windows it's just nothing the same what you type here uh, service uh, this one here all the services are I know we are printing on the uh, powershell window all right so let me put the filter back okay so far no more services there now what i'll do i'll just copy that command that as i already told you like install zookeeper and the same just this time we need to give the fully uh, fully uh, qualified path because we are not in the kafka directory so that is why i am not simply saying dot pin i am saying complete c kafka win and all that stuff all right so let me copy this Okay, now Zookeeper is installed. If you want to check, okay, it's in installed, and that's by default when we install anything, it, the state will be stopped. All right, now let me install Zookeeper. Oh, sorry, I mean to say um, the Kafka. All right, so you can see now Kafka and Zookeeper both are installed. Now we just need to start these two things. So what we'll simply use start and then say zookeeper. Okay. Similarly, we'll uh, start the Kafka. I have already created one video on this uh, NSM tool. So I will put that uh, link also in the description. So which will help you to understand all the commands which I'm executing right now. Install and start like that. There are some other commands also. Okay, so both are started. Now let's see the state. You can see both are running. 
now we have already closed these two uh, like like took uh, two windows which we have like now executed in the beginning of this video like uh, how how we'll be running the zookeeper and the kafka from a power shell or any command prompt window we have closed now if i go back to the consumer and the producer the cell minimizes because now both are running let's go back to the same this one and this one and the producer one all right this is the one not this one i think yeah it's saying network lost something like that let me say hi so you can see this is also started working now you are getting so many errors because we stopped you know forcefully the zookeeper and the uh, what you call that kafka let me type you now again type hello well you can see both the consumer started working again all right that's pretty much about this uh, video thank you very much